Okay, we're doing forensic science, examining skulls to determine race and gender. Uh, first thing you do when you walk up to the table is you identify the skull. Which one do you have? In this case, it's number two. Doesn't mean it's always going to be number two. Keep in mind. The jaw and the skull are separate. They are not together. That's real world. Understand this is plastic. It's not real bone. It's just a representation of the skull that you see. So... We have printed up. This is, comes out of your textbook, so you don't have to flip through there. There are different attributes of male and female. So you notice on this one, it's got the brow ridge, brow ridge, which is a male attribute. Um, also, it's kind of more defined. It's not a softer curve. Flip over to the next one, which is the female. The brow ridge is not as prominent on the female skull we have is more prominent brow ridge you look at the back of the skull on it has the bump the occipital condyle right there which is what is a male attribute also um, so that's two male attributes three if you include the boxiness and, and sharp edges of a, of a male so make a list of what are male and female attributes and majority goes to what it is because remember skulls will have both male and female attributes majority rules so make a list as you go We can pretty much guarantee, just from the three that we've observed, that this is probably a male skull. Now we need to determine race. Uh, so again, this is straight out of your textbook. Uh, we're looking for attributes of the skull that would determine what is the race. Uh, you'll notice on this, um, if you take a straight edge and you line it up on the spots on the face that it will touch. Uh, where does it line up? Where does it uh, not touch? Uh, we're going to go ahead and sketch it out here. And then you can do it in a real skull. So I'm just going to lay the straight edge here. On the brow ridge, on the nose ridge, and it's the teeth. It does not hit the uh, nasal cell at the bottom. Look at the jawline. Uh, this has got an arch at the bottom, sagittal arch, or sagittal contour is arched is what it's going to say. Look at the nose, the nasal opening. It's um, a little bit longer than it is wide, but still, it's a possibility. You look at it all. Look at the overall appearance of the skull. So let's go back and check um, what we have here. So mongoloid is mostly that. Um, this is caucasoid. You're looking at the nasal opening. It's not as narrow on the caucasoid as what we have. And it's longer, so that's a possibility. You'll notice on the uh, caucasoid also the nasal sill touches as well as nasal brow so keep that in mind uh, on the africoid it's got uh, the nasal sill doesn't is hardly present the one we've got has got a nasal sill so see right there um, again caucasoid but it's on a caucasoid it comes out far the nasal sill comes out farther than what we have so probably not as a guess um, just make sure you go over them all the place mongoloid we have a nasal sill like uh, they have here uh, we have the sagittal contour is arched if you look at the uh, orbits the eye holes are slightly sloped to the outside um, so 
If I had to guess, I would just say this is a mongoloid male. So we're going to go ahead and record this on our handout if we're doing the test. But for this, I'm just going to rip off this thing and see what it is. Again, I didn't know going into this what this was, guys. So I may be totally wrong. Let me see. So it says human Asian male, which is mongoloid male. Yes.